All right, so we've had this refrigerator out here for maybe a year now, and it does have a water hookup, but it doesn't do water, but it can make ice. And because it's in the garage, I've been hesitant to do any type of water line out here, and I didn't know how hard it was gonna be. But since I'm into reef tanks, and I kind of have some kind of concept of plumbing. I found out that found out that I could get a John Gust 3 8 valve. I'm going to show that right now. And that that valve would hook up to my existing plumbing in a half bath. So instead of looking at the fridge, let's go inside real quick and we'll backtrack here. So under the sink, I don't have the pedestal on because when we put the flooring on, it raised the floor up a little bit so the pedestal doesn't work now. We're going to get a something in here to hold the uh the sink up a different sink but this is a 3 8 gust john gust valve and it does have a on off switch here on the back so it's on now and this is a quarter inch uh to quarter inch ro tubing uh connector it's a 90 degree connector so it's as this just plugs in here. You don't have to use any, RO, use any RO tubing. It just plugs in here. Then I have RO tubing with a, a large loop going through the wall. And the reason I did the large loop was because this is cold water. And I didn't know how this was going to affect uh, the temperature change going into the garage. And I, I wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be any condensation on this uh, tubing. So far, so good. And again, the reason why I did this is because I can push it, pull it out and push it back a little bit and check and make sure there's no condensation going and getting into the insulation or the drywall. So the, like I said, the water's on and you can turn it off simply by turning this valve here. And if we go up to the garage, which is a short walk, Quarter inch tubing comes out. Like I said, you can pull it out to check on condensation. There's nothing here. Quarter inch, 90 degree elbow, going into quarter inch RO tubing over here into the fridge. And I kind of got stuck with this 90 degree elbow because I bought an adapter. So this screws on to the existing fridge um, connection. And it actually came with this but i cut it off because it's still a quarter of an inch and i just stuck a 90 degree adapter on there it is you know it kind of is what it is at this point but i did use a ro tubing cutter this thing right here you can get all this stuff off bulk reef supply uh, the only reason i know about it is because again i'm into reef tanks but, but um the only reason <laughs> i didn't really mean to stick the the 90 degree adapter on there. I wanted to put like a coupling on there, but I can't get it off now and I don't have a coupling. So this is what I'm using. And for now, it just kind of shoves back behind the refrigerator. We'll just leave that there and I'll fix it in a second. But we have ice. This thing is making ice. And the most important part to me is the fact that None of this right here has condensation on it. It's, uh, I used to have a temperature gauge in here. Yeah, so it's 65% humidity in the garage and 86 degrees. And that was my biggest concern was that I was gonna have condensation on this tubing here and I don't. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Obviously I have a valve and in the winter, the garage shouldn't freeze this, but I'm gonna definitely keep an eye on it. But for 
you know, 14 bucks. I ran a water line from the half bath on that side of the house into the garage to finally use the ice maker that I've been dying to use. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.